all the people sitting up here in the front, the men and the women, they're some of the finest project people you'll find in the world, plus yourself. And congratulations to everyone here on your accomplishments today. Uh, my daughter-in-law, Linda, please stand up, Linda. She is the first member of my family to go all the way to Black Belt. I've had other members start, but they didn't stay. Um, you know, but I'm very proud that she did. Thank you, Linda. You can sit down. <laughs> hey, Linda. Anyway, uh, I have three sons. My oldest son lives in North Carolina, south of Charlotte. He's a weightlifter and he's won a lot of competitions. He has five children. His wife and three of the children are black belts in Taekwondo. They drive about an hour and 45 minutes one way to their school, and they go two, three times a week, and they, they just love going there. And that's quite, I, that's a lot of accomplishment and everything there for them. I, my hat goes off to them. Uh, I have a son in uh, Texas. He's a penitentiary guard. Very bad profession. I have a son that lives around here in Syracuse, uh, Ricky. Now, my boys are all a lot bigger than me. Believe me. But when they come around me, they come with their hat in their hand. So anyway, congratulations to the Congratulations to everyone in the room. Uh, parents, students, staff alike. Sensei, thank you very much for everything for all of us. Kampai, my family. Good, all right, I'll make it quick. Um, congratulations to everybody. And I think Sensei said it best when he talked about all the characteristics you're looking for or working towards as a black belt. The humility, the respect, the discipline, all those other things. Very important because if the only thing you took from your karate training, which is a lifelong thing, if the only thing you got was the punching and the kicking and the arm bars and all the chokes that you're probably never going to have to use, hopefully, right? Let's hope that we're never going to have to use it. You might never. So you might think that, well, why would I spend and devote my life to something that I'm probably never going to use? You know, you wouldn't take golf lessons to never play a game of golf, right? You wouldn't take tennis lessons to never play tennis. So it's got to be beyond the, the, the punching and the kicking. And that's why you see guys like this, guys and ladies like this, that devote their lives to something that's so important. Okay, because it's bigger than that. But you have to do those things and continue to do them and put everything you got into those things in order to get past it. Okay, so, uh, and just remember, I think, you know, just the association name, association name itself, Sabukai, means what? Pure Heart Association. Not World's Best Punch Association, not the Coolest Kick in the World Association. Buck Kickers Association, any of that. Pure heart. And we do something that seems so violent and, and uh, aggressive, but at the end of the day, or actually it starts and ends with that Sabukai, Pure Heart Association. So congratulations to all you guys, all you young guys. What a huge accomplishment. So, I mean, you got a black belt in karate now. How cool is that? <laughs> right? You tell anybody in the world, I don't care if they do karate, judo, or anything else, they haven't even heard of it. Everybody knows that a black belt karate is pretty darn cool. So congratulations to you guys. Keep up the good work. A lot of great stuff to come. Come by. Thank you for today.